All right, we got another Super Famicom console with a new problem. Let's check it out. All right, let's see if this actually persists if we use RF. Give me a sec to hook that up. All right, we got our RF connection hooked up. Let's power the system on and see what happens. Ah, okay. So, that, uh, that definitely tells me it's a capacitor issue. Back to AV. All right, let's attempt a repair. Just so you guys can see the note that I left for myself whenever it was that I actually tested this last, it had to be like a good year or two years ago. Uh, it says ghosting jumpy screen, and that's what I paid for it. 324 yen, so about three bucks. Not the prettiest console in the world, but we're gonna get it working today. All right, folks, same deal as last time. We're gonna focus on these six capacitors here. Put a little flux on the uh, solder points, make it easier to get them off. And if you didn't watch the last video with uh, the graphics issues, that's cool. We're gonna use 10, or excuse me, we're gonna use two 10 microfarad capacitors, uh, 16 volt and four 100 microfarad capacitors and these will be 16 volt these on here are actually 6 volt so these replacements will be rated a little higher which is no big deal actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and harvest some capacitors off a board that had some other issues that I can't fix I tried replacing the caps, didn't work so let's not let those caps go to waste get these off and then we will put on the replacement caps easy day so what I like to do is I like to heat up the leg on each side and just kind of pull it up and then go from the other side and as I had mentioned previously the reason I don't like to clip these off is because sometimes uh, it's because I feel like it's a little too harsh on the board and sometimes it can lead to lifting the um, solder pads and I would just prefer not to deal with that nonsense. I did learn from my mistake the last time I put the camera on the other side of the table not the side that has my left hand covering half of the screen so that's good I suppose got quite a few consoles to work through coming up um, more than anything else I am uh, I'm trying to get ready for the Portland Retro Gaming Expo that's in October as of the shooting of this video it is uh, July 14th I think is the date 14th or 15th um, I've had a ton of Super Famicom systems just kind of sitting around for a couple years now and I figured now's about as good a time as any to uh, start busting through them these are some of the cheaper consoles that I have uh, as far as stuff that needs repair work I got some turbo uh, not turbo but PC engine duo consoles that uh, I certainly could work on but I need some other parts for them before I can uh, those are probably the more expensive consoles what else do I have? Jeez, I got tons and tons of stuff like as far as the expensive stuff I got 
um, some sharp twin Famicom consoles that I can replace the, uh, the drive belts on that would be nice if I could actually start on those I had those sitting around damn it I lost that pad didn't I son of a bitch That is a, a normal occurrence when I turn on the camera. Something always happens to go wrong, but that's okay because we're gonna fix that. And if you screw up like I just did, I'll show you what you can do to fix it. Anyway, as I was saying, we got some twin some sharp twin Famicom consoles. We got some. Uh, I got the Turbo Super CD, or I keep saying Turbo, the PC Engine Super CD ROM attachment. I got a couple of those that need uh, some recapping and some love. I should get on those too. Uh, but most of the stuff that I got is pretty cheap. It's Famicom, Super Famicom, Sega Saturn. Um, yeah, I think that's about it as far as repairs. I got a ton of PS2s. Those definitely would uh, be good to start fixing because when I sell those on eBay, those are very, very costly. They're very expensive. Um, I have a lot of the colored systems, white, like a translucent black, uh, translucent blue, which seems to be the best seller and the most expensive. Uh, but they have all got laser issues and I'm having some trouble recalibrating the lasers uh, these new lasers that I bought so until I figure out a foolproof way of doing that those will stay on the shelf so what I'm doing here is I'm just kinda cleaning up all this debris all this crud getting it ready for some new solder alright as you can see right there we lost the pad when we pulled up one of the capacitors it's not really a big deal that's very very easy to fix what we're gonna do, okay, so this, uh, let's see. This side will be the positive on the capacitor. Let me pull that a little closer. This side will be the positive on the capacitor. This side will be the negative. So we got positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. These capacitors run uh, adjacent to each other. You can run a, a wire from here to this, well, what would have been a pad over here. Uh, and that'll complete the circuit so that's what we're gonna do pretty easy I don't know if I'm explaining that very well I'm certainly no tech genius but that's what we're gonna do and I will show you normally like I said the capacitor will run let's see it'll be sitting like this right so capacitor will be like this positive side going that way, negative side going this way. There's a trace that runs from this capacitor down to this capacitor. So what we'll do is we'll run a wire or probably just clip one of the legs off of a, or part of the leg off of a capacitor and run it down this way and scrape some of this solder mask off so we can expose the copper and secure it a little bit better. But you'll see here this side and this side give you continuity, this side and this side continuity same thing over here uh, we will we'll go ahead and do that and then we'll check to make sure it works I'm sure it will so let's just cut the yapping and start repairing stuff so I'm gonna lay down some more flux and with these being that they were surface mount caps and we're gonna use what are generally through hole capacitors we're gonna make some nice fat solder blobs on the board make it easier for the capacitor lace to stay or stick so let's go ahead and do that now and I'm pulling these off the shelf basically at random I figure if um, if it's an issue that I haven't shown before, I'll just do it. It might be the same solution, the same fix for uh, each issue, but 
why not just show it anyway so what we're going to do here bring this light back so i should have done it before so you can actually see so what we're going to do here is we're going to scrape some of the solder mask off and expose the copper and it's going to make it way easier for us to secure this leg that i cut off a capacitor earlier in a repair we're going to anchor that down and just make sure that it it's nice and sturdy I'm using an exacto knife to do that. Let's be careful not to actually cut the trace. Just kind of scrape, scrape, scrape away and reveal some of that copper. All right, I think that's good enough. So what I'll do here now, this is the board that I had worked on earlier. I don't want to waste the capacitors, so I'm not. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull them off of this board and then put them on this one here. All right. Try it again. Move that up. Move that back, there we go. Sorry, again, I get so into what I'm doing, um, I forget to check the viewfinder on the camera and see where, where, where our focus is at. I sure as I can't see. It's so hard to see from there. And I think I bridged that too. This is not going well, folks. Not going well at all. What in the world? That's in there pretty securely. This is such a pain to do on camera. It really is. I feel like I'm doing everything with an awkward uh, arm position. It'd be great if I had a camera to mount on the ceiling, but if nobody's gonna watch this, then there's really no point to it. I'm just kind of doing this for fun. And I'm not really trying to spend all this extra money on video equipment at this point. That's fairly decent. So the console that I'm pulling these caps off was one I was trying to fix earlier. I basically just went down the line from the easiest solutions to the most difficult. The screen, nothing really showed. It was a purple screen with like black pixels. Um, I could not get that thing to work at all. I tried changing caps. I tried uh, reheating the, the chips to make sure that they were on there securely. Just wasn't happening. So I gave up and said F it. Now, I'm going to put those caps to good use. Again, sorry, I gotta move the board a little bit so I can actually do the work. It's not always easy to make sure that you guys can see everything properly. So we're gonna take one of these legs that we clipped earlier. We're gonna clip it down, let's see. Right, where's my wire cutter? There we go. Clip it down right about to here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and solder that down first. Just to make sure it actually stays. You know what I should do is actually add solder to that, that trace. Totally not thinking right now. It's like one o'clock in the morning right now. Well, it's about 12:30, I think. Not the best time to be doing repairs and junk. All 
I'm very prone to making mistakes at this time of night which begs the question why am I doing this right now just because I'm bored and I want to do something constructive Damn it. I really got to get some better tweezers alright I think that's on there pretty good actually Yeah, that's pretty secure. So what I'm gonna do again, is I'm just gonna add a little bit more uh, solder to that side. Nice fat solder bubble. I really feel like I'm screwing this up. I think I am. I definitely am. You know what we need to do? Let's try that again. Crap, totally messed that up. It's like almost one o'clock in the morning and I should be in bed or doing anything other than repairing stuff but that's not what we're doing so <sighs> bear with me here all right that's not very pretty but it's gonna be effective I promise Well, now there's no side of there. And that's bridge now. We don't want that. There we go. As long as the leg is secure, we're good. All right, moving along. You know, an extra... Uh, advantage to wearing gloves especially thicker gloves while you're doing this stuff is if you accidentally slip up with the soldering iron you don't burn yourself as badly this is certainly not one of my best repairs I will definitely admit to that um, quite honestly this thing was dead well I considered it dead anyway um, so I'm not uh, not expecting to get much back on this thing. I'll fix it and I'll probably in all likelihood either offer it to somebody super cheap or maybe even for free. What I thought about doing is um, maybe with some of these repairs, especially since these are consoles that I got super cheap and I basically just wrote them off as uh, junk anyway, is maybe I could do some giveaways or something like that. <clears throat> it depends on how many people actually watch this channel moving forward I've been on YouTube for like five years now and I'm still at somewhere around 200 subscribers I realize and I am very open about the fact that my content is garbage I fully admit that um, but maybe doing like pickups and stuff and shit and I put that on wrong again what is wrong with me today I realize doing pickups and junk like that is not my forte at all. So maybe, <laughs> by the way this repair is going, I would say this is not my forte either, but you know, I would certainly say that I'm better at this than the normal look what I got type videos. <sighs> all right, that looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to clean this area up Just put a little alcohol and uh, a q-tip and get some of that flux up so it doesn't get all sticky and gross and then we're going to check for continuity and then we will power this bad boy on and see if it fixes our issue I think it will I'm pretty sure it will but I guess we won't know until we actually fucking do it. Wow, this thing is dirty. This board is filthy. There's all kinds of dust and crap on it. We'll go ahead and uh, button this thing up just enough so we can test it. 
car slot connector is on there. Game is in there. Power cord. I got a lot of shit just everywhere right now. It's kind of kind of pathetic. All right, AV cord, power cord. That's not the power cord. <laughs> That's the RF. Definitely the last repair for the night. Power cord is in. We're gonna turn the TV on. Actually, I use Super Street Fighter 2, so let's do that one. Uh, power adapter or power switch is on. Pull that back. There's our repair system. Caps, again, not the greatest job I've ever done, especially lifting the trace, but that's all right. All right, let's power it on and see what happens. I think that is a success. Maybe. Is it just gonna load to that screen? Or what, what, are we, what are we doing? All right, so I think I gotta clean the cart slot too. Or maybe the cart in general is filthy. Sorry, sorry, sorry for the bad camera angle. Maybe we should take a pause. It's kind of dirty, so I don't know. We'll see. And you see dust, like, bleh, what is that? Gross. All right, try it again. We're gonna have to pause it and do some troubleshooting. I'm telling you, you know it's like one o'clock in the morning when you do stupid stuff like that. So I forgot to put the soundboard on there. <laughs> Let's try that again. All right, so graphics are good. We're having some issues with the sound. What's going on there? Is it actually even turned up? It is turned up. So, let's try that again. Third time is the charm, right? Unplug it, replug it in, try it again. That's no bueno. All right, well, let's see. So I had to go back over the solder points and make sure that they were on there properly. I uh, did not do a great job on this one, I'm not going to lie, but we got it working. Pretty satisfied I guess. Alright, so as I was saying, I had to re-go over these solder points because I did a shit job. Good lord. I didn't even realize how bad it was. I mean, one thing I had to do was clean that cart slot too because the, uh, let's see, let me get, adjust this light a little bit. So this area right here was f absolutely filthy. I don't know if that was actually the problem or not. I don't think it was, but uh, I had to go back over the solder points because I did a horrible, horrible job. And this is why you don't do stuff after like midnight, or I don't, I shouldn't be doing stuff after midnight. It was a very consistent thing for me to start screwing up the later in the night or earlier in the morning it gets. So that does work. <laughs> Again, it looks like shit. I'm not really doing a whole lot for my reputation, but we got a system that was non, basically not working. Uh, we got it working, so that's the goal here. I'm gonna go ahead and probably clean that up a little bit more and make it look a little nicer, but we lifted a trace, we fixed that, we changed the caps, and we fixed that shitty ass picture. If you got an issue similar to that, hopefully this video will help you out. 
This is Jay Will from Will's VG Addiction. Hope you learned something. Peace out. Thanks for watching.